Look, 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 look. Don't even get me started. Do not get me started before I have my coffee this morning, all right? I ate. That's right, I went with this one. Rose's look is absolutely hilarious to me. <laughs> like, we're sitting here about to start. John's just like, he's been super, well, he's been normal for John all morning. <laughs> and then he just stops to collect himself <laughs> right before the episode starts. And then he starts with that. <laughs> Like, what? Are you trying to get me started? Oh, is that God. what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? No, you're trying to get me started. You're going to get started? You're going to get started? Did you get your start the game. Did you get your coffee? No, I didn't get my coffee. Look, we're going to play this game without coffee? Yes. Look, we're, we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play Jeopardy without coffee. I, for a second, I thought that J was for John. I got very confused how it knew. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. I, hey, John Box. Look, you can register now. Question thing. I'll, I'll do that later. I, I have an Ubisoft Club account. So. Yes. We decided let's play some Jeopardy. Yes, that is what we're playing. Yes. So that John hasn't doesn't have to try and spell with Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> because, you know, let's <laughs> let's go with trivia. Where we're pretty evenly matched. Depends on the categories. Depends on the cla categories, yes. Classic. Definitely classic. <laughs> you can be couchy. Yay. <laughs> All right, so what, what do we want Charles to be? Do we want Charles to be medium AI? Hard AI? I think medium. S soft AI? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, you want medium? Okay, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's leave him medium. Okay. Why not? Let's, let's do this. Okay. Academia, lifestyle, pop culture, and potpourri. Okay, I remember last time. You okay time. with that? Yeah, that's fine. That, that, that is the full Jeopardy experience. Yes. So let's freaking do this. Who knows what we're getting? Zero matches one. Wow. Wow. They just called you out like that. Savage. Zero matches one for me either. Did we really lose to the computer last time? Yes, we did. I also think okay. we had your account on this one, and then we were like, we don't let's need the count, the each other's other's count the on our switches categories. anymore. Yeah, but we've played it since then. Books. True. Inventors and inventions. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Ologies. Oh, God. Ologies. Ologies. The late night crowd. <laughs> Is it like oh. after 10 p.m.? Because we're usually asleep. Human yes. body numbers. 10. That's how many fingers there are. Got it. Starting player. Player three? Of course Charles. it's Charles. Category. Do it, Charles. I always say. Oh. Damn it. I got, oh, oh, I gotta hold it. That's right. Yes. There we go. You are right. Starting off good. All right. I was trying so hard. All Player right. One. That was the first Please book I read on my own. Is it really? Yeah. Nice. For my sister, it was Green Eggs and Ham. Not surprisingly, this magician claims as his favorite book, the Charles Dickens novel that bears his name. Damn it. Um, Copperfield. That's correct. David Copperfield. I got confused because I knew Player that David two. Copperfield Pick was a, a person. Category. Yeah. And then... I found out about the book and I was just like, wait, which one came first? I was young. Jennifer Lawrence picked this author's Raise the High Roof Beam. She read after, oh. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. You want to read out the that questions? Guess. You read faster than I do. Oh, sure. Uh, Jessica Beale's favorite book is this Gatsby writer's Tender is the Night. See if you can remember. I, I was like, I know this one. <laughs> I did it. High yep. school English was good for me. Player one. Mostly. Please select a category. Right, let's do it. Lauren Bacall said his All the Pretty Horses was the most beautiful writing I have read in years. Oh, God. What? Um, All the Pretty Horses. Oh, I know it. I know it. Baldwin? I think. Sadly, nope, that's not it. Charles, you're going to jump in on this? You can do it, Charles, or are you going to let it go? Okay. He'll jump in. I think I know if which one it don't, is. If you don't, then he will. Damn it, that's the one I thought. Exactly. Well, then you should have guessed. I should have guessed. You should have guessed. You had the uh, money. I had the money to you lose. You had the money to it's lose. Damn it. Now category. we're going to go with some random $800 fruit question. Thought of as a vegetable, this flowering plant in the nightshade family is scientifically a fruit. Um, what? What is tomato? That's correct. Oh, come on. 
Wait, it's part of the tomatoes, nightshade? Yes, tomatoes were thought Wait, to be poisonous. What? Two. I had, tomatoes Which were thought to be poisonous. Like? My mind is blown already. Yeah, I found that out from a kid in King Arthur's Court. This citric, citrus comes in yellowish key and greener Persian types. You got this? What is it? What is it? I don't know. Nope. Sorry, Shit. but that's incorrect. Wait, what is it? Is it lemon? Key it's lime. That's it's right. a key lime. Oh. Key lime pie. Look, I don't know this shit. <laughs> Let's go with fruit for 400. This ancient hybrid is an important economic product of Florida and California. What is the orange? Florida well orange. Done. Yeah, that one does make sense. Yeah. But I, like, I, what I had was not in my head correct. So I was like, I'm, I don't Were you know. thinking peaches? No. Like Georgia peach? No. This melon has a smooth white rind and sweet green flesh. Shit. Can't, can't buzz in too early. Uh, that's gonna be the honeydew. Uh, yes, we can't elope, but oh, honeydew. Hate this game. I know. God, I hate this game I know. so much. The following image. The name of the fruit scene here is derived from this Moroccan port city. Do you know? I know. Is it a tan? A tangerine, because it's tangier, right? Tangier. Tangier, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, I don't You're like still this. winning. I don't care. Oh Let's go God. with ologies. Okay. It shouldn't surprise you that nasology is the study of this body part. It has to be the nose. The no-no square. Well oh, done. God. Damn it. <laughs> So wait, maybe, maybe it's this? That's my bad. Maybe it's, it's my bad. It should have been the no-no no square. Would you like? Traditionally, biology is divided into two major fields, botany and this study of animals. Uh, taxology, zoology. Dendrology, God love zoology. you, zoology. Oh, <laughs> watch it be like, no, John, you dumb. I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, I know. Please I know. select a category. It's the science dealing with the relationship between organisms and their environment. Uh, agrology. Correct. Actually, like, like that's I love one that, that agrology is a is a choice. That's it's the one that it's probably a real thing too. Yeah, I was like, that's the oh god. <laughs> Margaret Mead, who studied how culture affects human behavior, has a PhD from in this Columbia University. In this from Columbia University. Go for it, Charles. Wait, what? Yeah, I well forgot done. about that. Anthropology. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Yeah. Player three. Charles is going to win. Which Probably. just calling it would now. You like? What the hell, man? That's just how they were all. In June 1974, a package of Wrigley's gum became the first product scanned, having one of these. Got to be the coupon. That's correct. Had to be the coupon. I was like, <laughs> look, I, I, look, I know you're really smart, and so some of the shit you say, I'm like, I know. oh, God. <laughs> From the Greek for growing in, it studies the development of organisms in their earliest stages before birth. Uh, it has to be Embry yeah, embryology. embryology makes the you most sense. Correct. I'm just here like it has to be something about embryos. Player two, oh, please God. select um, a category. The late night crowd. In 2015, Stephen Colbert took over David Letterman's Late Show in David's Venue, a theater named for this TV legend. Um, Sullivan. Yeah, it's the Ed Sullivan Theater. Yes. Indeed. That I didn't know. I did not. I was not sure. You know what? Let's go with inventions and inventors. The World World Almanac's list of inventions goes from the adding machine to a 1913 improvement of this fastener. Uh, gotta be the zipper. Velcro. You are right. Damn it. Probably the zipper. I'm just like, I think the zipper outdates Velcro. No shit. Oddly enough. Huh. It shouldn't. Around 1870, Christopher Scholes and two friends invented the first practical one of these, including a QWERTY keyboard. What? A computer? That's not it. Oh. You gonna try? Yeah. I think I do now. Was it typewriter? Probably. Indeed. I saw typewriter too late. Okay, I was like, uh, it's my story, and I'm sticking uh, with it. Uh, 
scared. <laughs> Time Magazine's best inventions of 2016 included this Akron, Ohio company's sphere-shaped tires that roll sideways. What? Uh, good year? That's it. Yeah, that dog. Uh, no idea on that one. I'm just here like, I don't know, but you're winning and that's not okay. In 1971, three engineers invented this company's 4004 chip, the world's first single chip microprocessor. Um, uh -oh. 71 IBM? Damn it. That's not correct. Nope. You have a chance. You're probably gonna win, honestly. I keep on taking stupid chances. Pick one. Do it. I think it's the, I think it's you, Packard, actually. No, HP. Fudge. Oh. I was like, I I it didn't think it was Intel, Intel because it was totally Intel. Oh. Uh. Yes, correct. I went to the Intel plant in uh, New Mexico three. once. Which category oh, really? would you like? Yeah, it was I pretty know cool. That. Yeah, got to see a clean room and everything. These are the largest of the six major pairs of joints in the human body. Well done. Ha ha. My first thought was knee. My second thought was shoulder. Player two. Forgot about it. Pick a category. <laughs> yeah, I keep on doing the <laughs> joints. There are about 700 of these in the human body, including biceps and triceps. Um. Wouldn't that be muscles? Sure. That's it. Okay. I was like. I'm just here like it should be. I don't Maybe. know. Which category would you like? On TBS, his theme song is played by the Basic Cable Band. He's the only one on TBS. That's how I remember oh, that one. I have no idea what channel these guys are on. <laughs> I'm at a strong disadvantage. Juju Chang, Dana, Dan Abram, Abrams, and Dan, Dan Harris took on this light, late night show Ted Koppel anchored for 25 oh, years. Oh. Incorrect. Not Dateline. Yeah, go for it. I think it's it's Nightline. I'm ready to buzz in That's if you're right. wrong. Oh. I was like, I'm pretty like. <laughs> I had it down in my head, Dateline or Nightline, and I was like, I'm glad Charles went first. You'll earn points if you can name this n host. Oh. Hashtag and everything else. Oh come ha -ha! on! Who is Chris Hardwick? Yes, That's points. It. Oh god, I had it. Yep. That was a fun Player show. Two. That was a great show. It's your turn oh, to choose a category. It. Before his late night gig, he co-hosted Win Bin Stein's Money. Go for it. I think it's Kimmel, actually. Sure. That's correct. Ha -ha. <laughs> I'm just here like, I don't have a thousand dollars to lose. Please select I get that. a category. You've got 24 of these in the front of your chest protecting your inner organs. Ah. Uh, Rips? Sure. I mean, well done. I thought you had like 12. Rips. I thought you did too. That's Maybe it's like, 12 sets? I don't know. All I, I know is this making me feel really the stupid. Total digits most humans are born with on their hands and feet. I love how they have to say digits. No, it was 10. Exactly. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> stop it. I love you. Stop. You're I mean. Love you. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do the daily, daily double. Daily double. Son How of a much bitch. Would you like to wager? How much are you wagering? You're just like $100. $500. Uh, $500. <laughs> of 106, 206, or 306, it's the approximate number of bones in the human body. Are you kidding me? You're only gonna lose 500, just pick. If you don't pick, you'll lose it all anyway. 206? Yes. Oh God. Ha -ha. I was like, I wanna. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here are the scores. You don't need to rub it in. Look, I'm not gonna lie. The game, when we play these games, I love these games. I feel so dumb. Oh, I, oh. Categories off. most of the time I have no idea. Movie quotes by actor. Oh, oh God. God. It isn't an opera category. Damn it. What? Eat your veggies. Okay. Play penners. Uh -huh. I don't even know what that means. Household hints. Maybe? Maybe? Okay, cool. Americans. Shit. What? 
<laughs> now we get to find out how little John knows oh. about his own people. Oh, God. Our dreams feel real while we're in them. Ha! Uh, that one, I think, was Leo? You are correct. I, I thought we were going to have to pick the movie. I thought we were, too. Not and the then, actor. And then I saw that, I was like, Which oh, crap. God. Oh, crap. You know what? We're going to do it. You doing it? We're going to do oh, it. hell. But gosh, a Wisconsin city is named for this m m chief who helped the British capture Fort Mac Mackinac in 1812. Menominee. Menominee, That's not yeah. it. Not Tecumseh. No. Was not the Shawnee. Um, Oshkosh Bagosh. Has to That's be. That's correct. Has to be. <laughs> Oh, hell. I didn't know that that was Native American names. <laughs> I didn't know Bagosh was. Adding this grain to a salt shaker does two things. Knocks apart salt lumps during shaking and absorbs moisture so that it won't clump. That is rice. You put rice in a salt yes. shaker. Helps with moisture. I knew that. This is when Rose takes like a <laughs> commanding lead and I'm like, <laughs> what the hell am I doing with my To life? get lipstick out of washable clothing, dab the stain with the isopropyl type of this. That's purple alcohol. That's the only thing I thought of. Yeah. That's right. Just like it has to be that. Jesus. Oh my god. I know a few things about the household. Eloise says to put shower curtains in here to eliminate grime. Who the heck is Eloise? I don't know. Uh dryer, washing machine, cupboard? It's just strange I'm enough. Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> Look, sometimes. I'll go with the washing machine then. Sure. I don't. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Like, I've never heard of that before in my life. Like, I'm just like, like I don't, I don't know. know. So where are we going one. next? Pick a category. Let's just finish this out. <laughs> Keep pieces of this in special flannel bags that are infused with a preventative to stop the pieces from tarnishing. That has to be silver. Has to be silver. <laughs> <Okay>. Silver tarnishes. <laughs> silver is the only uh, one that tarnishes. <clears throat> Look, I'm not even, I'm like, those are Player words. <laughs> it's your turn to choose a category. But for sports on, spots on this soft leather, blot with white vinegar and use a shoe brush to rework the nap. What? Uh, it has to be suede. Suede's the only Slo one. Soft leather. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my God. I'm just here like it has to be. Um, play pinners. Actors from Ralph Fiennes to Keanu Reeves have taken on this Brit's Hamlet. What? Is that what I, that means? I don't understand what play penners is. Player one. Oh, oh the Please ones who write plays. Are you gonna are you gonna? Come on. Philip Seymour Hoffman's last Broadway role was Willie Loman in this man's Death of a Salesman. Oh, Death of a Salesman was by Arthur Miller? Yeah, it was. Exactly. <laughs> yes, you're right. Good job. Thanks. Good Player job. Two. Play Pick Pinners is not always it's obvious. A daily there we oh, go. God. How much Do money it all. are you wagering? Um, $500. You know what? Yeah, because I don't want to lose that much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, A. James Franco starred in a Broadway production of Of Mice and Men, written and adapted for the stage by this author. Um, Mice and Men? That was F. Scott Fitzgerald, oh, I Steinbeck. think. No, it's not. Oh. Well, I only lose 500. Steinbeck. Okay. I couldn't remember. I always get confused with that one. Let me get this one Dear wrong. Devil. Oh, God, are you kidding me? <laughs> What is wrong with you people? Another 500. Yeah. Let me so. just lose a thousand from this. Jessica Lane Lang won a 2006 16 Tony for this playwright's long day's journey into night. Oh, God. Uh, Eugene O'Neill. That's the one I think it is, actually. Yes. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like, I'm pretty sure. I just Eugene got my 500 back. It's like, I'm pretty sure Eugene O'Neill wrote that. I've never heard of that. This playwright with a monthly name is the only African-American dramatist to have a Broadway theater named in his honor. 
Uh, this has to be August Wilson. Monthly right. named. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's there all that I was looking I for. I went with the idea of like, wait, he changes his name monthly? That's what I was <laughs> like, what the shit? You know, I get that. This vegetable is the main ingredient in this pasta sauce that means in sailor style in Italian. Oh, that's what that means. I had no idea. It makes sense, though. Yeah, it does make sense. Marinara. Marinara. Correct. Okay. Marine. Player one. Oh, Which God category would you one. like? This Sioux chief is said to have received his name when an engine raced through camp at his birth around 1849. Equine. Equine. Good luck. Crazy horse? Yeah. Yes. I mean, equine has That's to be a horse. horse. Yeah, equine is yeah. a horse. See, this is where John gets his lead back. Meriwether Lewis named a tributary of the meh River in Montana for her. Has to be Sacagawea. Precisely. Yeah. Musel Shell. Musel Shell River? Musel Shell. Player two, it's your sure. turn to choose a category. Sitting Bull spent several months touring with this impresario's Wild West show. Ah, oh, I know this one too. Should be Buffalo Bill. Should be. Exactly. Okay. It's not, then they're wrong. Yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> I know Wyatt Earp did not Same have one. a traveling show. No. Please select a category. First man killed in the Boston Massacre. He's thought to have been the son of a slave and Native American woman. What? Oh, let's see if I can remember this. Cotton Mather? I, 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 I'm sorry. Oh. No. Do it, Charles. It's all up to you. Process of elimination, bitch. Wow. Do it. Crispus yes. Attackus? 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 <laughs> I, I have no sure. idea. Player three? I don't know. It's your turn to choose a category. Okay, Charles. Why so serious? I can't think of who that was. God damn it, man. <laughs> Heath Ledger. Exactly. Uh, I'm so close. I know you are. God. I know. Pick a category. It's been 48 souls since I planted the potatoes. That's Matt Damon. Has to be from the Martian. Oh, the Mar yeah, Has the Martian. to be the Martian. That's right. That's a good potatoes. one. Potatoes. All the potatoes. I went, I went to. Uh, there will be blood. Olaf, you're melting. I don't remember which one it was. Well, uh, process of elimination should yeah, be Kristen I Bell. Know. Well, I couldn't yes, remember. Correct. I figured they were going to say, like, Idina Menzel. Yeah. I figured they were going to have actors from Player the movie because yeah. that's what they Which did with Inception. Would you like? I hate space. 2013, I hate space. Go for it, Charles. Do it. Chris Pine? That is not correct. Nope. Screw it, I'll go, go after for it. it. Oh, oh yeah. I actually do know that one. Yeah, that, that okay. should be. That's right. Okay. Um, gravity. Gravity, yep. Gravity. Oh, we got the lead back. Look at the following image. Middle Eastern dip scene here is made with these beans. Damn it. Do it. Garbanzo. Please be right. Chickpea. Correct. Okay, I was like, I was looking for yeah. chickpea and I was like, yeah. Ah, Hummus. Ah. Hummus. Kumas. the following image. The food scene here gets its name from a Dutch word for this vegetable, one of its ingredients. Oh, I have to not let her down. Uh, cabbage? I would say cabbage. Because well it looks like coleslaw. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought it was. Or sauerkraut. I was like, maybe it's cabbage. I'm just like, maybe? Maybe it's born with it. Look maybe at the maybe. following image. A Hanukkah tradition, the treats seen here are made primarily from this vegetable. Oh, damn it. It's potato pancake. You are correct. Yep. You look so tasty. Player one, which category would you like? Observe the following image. Dictionaries are neutral about whether or not to include this nationality in the name of the vegetable seen here. Swiss chard. I think exactly. it's Swiss chard. Wow, well done. I, I <laughs> no idea what that was. I wasn't entirely sure. It's your turn to choose a category. 
The Jode family sings up a storm. Make that a dust storm in the opera adapted from this Steinbeck novel. That's gonna have to be The Grapes of Wrath. Because that's the only one from the Great you Depression. Right. True. Dust storms, dust bowls. Oh, Had to crap. be. crap. Oh. Four sisters cavort in the March family attic in Act One of the opera based on this 1868 novel. That's gonna have to be Little Women. What? <laughs> the March family attic. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is awful. <laughs> The bewitching opera based on this Arthur Miller play is set in Salem. Oh, damn it. Oh, I buzzed too early. Please be the crucible. God, has please. To has to be. That's God right. help me. Okay. Woo. Oh, took a $100 lead. A category. Story by Edgar Allan Poe inspired Philip Glass's opera, The Fall of the House of This. Fall of the House of Usher. Usher, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That was an interesting story. Here's the last clue. If you like singing furniture, and who doesn't, you'll love L'Enfant et les Sortillages by this bolero composer. F off, you get a French word. Oh, that. Oh, oh, God. oh God. Oh, God. Maurice Ravel? That's correct. Huh? Oh, that was a guess. Everyone made okay. it to final judgment. Okay, I can breathe. I can breathe. Nice. This game sucks. <laughs> Let's do Final Jeopardy. How much would you like to wager? Are we Please, wagering it all, John? Keep your eyes on your own wager. Yes, we're gonna we do are. it all. We're gonna do it all. Let's do it. Though called the most hapless of monarchs, this king is in the title of Shakespeare's only trilogy. You have to pick one. I know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just got it wrong. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, Charles, what'd you put? Richard the Third. I'm sorry. No. <gasps> okay. 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 Henry V. I think nope, you're right. Damn it. Oh. Did you get it right? No. I said Richard the Third. Ah! We all lost. Oh, Henry the Sixth. Worst part is, I thought that it was gonna be like Henry the Eighth. Here are the I had it down to the I Henrys. Sense. I knew. Yeah. I knew it wasn't King Richard. But God. <laughs> Final oh! results. Everybody lost. Oh! <laughs> oh, categories unlocked. If they will remember you who you a are, new which master they won't. rank. But that's okay. No, it, it does remember this part. I just haven't won. Oh, okay. You that makes have more sense. Unlocked a Lifestyle. New rank. Ooh. Categories unlocked. Rank up for you have unlocked a new master rank. Popery. Good. You have unlocked a new master rank. Ooh. Ooh, I feel pretty. You should. You want to do one more round? Look at that. Look at that. I got 31 correct answers out of my 35 buzzes. You didn't take many chances, sir. I didn't. You gotta play smart. Uh, what you think? Do you want to Let's do one again? more. One Let's, more? Let, this is our longer episode. Let's do <laughs> one more round. Why not? Yep. Let's welcome today's contestants. <sighs> cool. Matches one zero. Matches one zero. Money per match, 27,000. Zero dollars. That's right, Charles. We're bringing you back into oh the hellhole that is Jeopardy. Good round, luck, Charles. We have Thank you for being her here. Story. World Her Story. 2010's okay. Entertainment Awards. Okay. okay. World Tour. Uh-huh. Two of the seven. What? Good books. Okay. That's a non-descriptor. Oh, hell. Okay. Seriously? Give it to Charles. Go, Charles. Go. Player three. Shocking. Pick a category. World Her Story. After briefly attending Oxford University, she returned to India in 1941 and married a Parsi lawyer the following year. What? Uh, Indira Gandhi? You are correct. Ha ha! Who? Gandhi's daughter. 
Player oh. two. Which category would sure. you like? World tour. Let's what watch is this? this short video. Um. Okay. In the south end of this urban park. Okay. It has to be. I was like, that's got to be Central it has Park. Has to be Central Park. Precisely. Oh God, thank you. There you go. Where do you want to go next? Um, it's pretty open. Let's see, let's see what the. Oh God. This singer won Album of the Year Grammys for 1989 and Fearless. Let's see if T you Swift. Can remember this. Uh, that's it. There we go. And right, now we're all tied up. I want to see. Except for Charles. Bart. I don't give a damn about Charles. Bird way. Image. In a musical based on this French film. Oh. Damn it. I was like, that should be Amelie, right? Yeah. I forgot that was a musical. I forgot she did that. Yeah, I had no idea that was a musical. All right. Look, this one scares me, so I just want to see what yeah. it's like. Dopeen's Sneezy. Really? That's it? Two of the seven. What up? I almost did Munchkins. <laughs> I was just, you I just have. like really like got a little too number or yeah, I get that controller happy. Good books. I love how John's just like clip. let's clear out the top row. American author wrote it's a sin to kill the bird scene here. I hate this wait. Oh my god. Wait, this what? This is killing me. This is killing me. I hate that. Harper Lee. Kill a mockingbird. Yep. It's yeah, okay. that, that probably, weight was like. I probably would have gotten the author wrong, so go for it. World Her Story. In 1860, four years after leaving the Crimea, she wrote the book Notes on Nursing What It Is and What It Is Not. She certainly did. <laughs> I know <laughs> it was her. Margaret Mead? No. Yeah, I'm not doing this one. Oh, there. Oh, that has to be Florence Nightingale. You are correct. Nursing. Yeah. Well, let me let me Nurse be honest. Nightingale. Let me be honest. <laughs> You know what? Let's get this done. Had no idea Florence Nightingale was a real person. Oh, yeah. Shakespeare dramatized Cleopatra's romance with Mark Antony. George Bernard Shaw dramatized her relationship with this ruler. Um, Anthony, that would have had to be yeah, Julius Caesar. I was like, Caesar? should be Caesar. That's correct. Ha. Huh. Well, that's nice. Let's just, let's go. 1960s, Siramavo of Silian, now this country, became the first woman to head a modern go government. You got it, Charles. What? Sri Lanka? Exactly. Sri Lanka? Oh. oh, okay. There we go. Player three. What? Uh -huh. It's your turn to choose a category. Daughter of Ferdinand and Isabella, she was the first wife of Henry VIII. Um... That Chain Catherine Seymour. of Aragon. Nice. Yes, Aragon is an correct. area of Spain, of Portugal. Oh, okay. Ferdinand and Isabel were Player two, the people with um, a category. rulers that sent Christopher Columbus. Oh, okay. 2010's entertainment. This is going to be awful. Variety called this daytime talk show host the awardiest awardee when she won a record 20th People's Choice Award. You just go for it. It's the only thing that would make sense to me. Correct. Yes. Out of those choices, out of those yes. choices, I'm like, there. <laughs> Ellen is the it's only one that makes sense. To choose a category. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway appeared together at the 2017 Oscar in honor of the 50th anniversary of this movie they starred in. Should be Bonnie and Clyde. Okay. Yes, correct. I think John's gonna win this game, guys. Just making that prediction now. All right. That's the thing. It depends on categories. Martin Freeman won an Emmy for this role in on Sherlock. He was Dr. Watson. Yeah. I'm just like, That's I know right. that one. <laughs> <laughs> and let's try this. Jesse Mueller won a 2014 Tony for playing this singer songwriter in the musical Beautiful. Who? Yeah. Wait, what? 
What? Carol King? Correct. Go for it, Charles. Knock yourself out, Charles. I have no <laughs> idea. You laugh if Charles wins. Which category Where would are we you going, like? Charles? Oh, why do you do this? Observe the following image. The guy pictured here shares his name with the lead pig in this book. Oh, God. Yeah, I was going to say. You are right. Like, Pretty is, sure. Napoleon. Was the only thing that made sense. Napoleon. Yeah. I've never read Player Animal Farm. Pick a it category. was pretty good, actually. I liked so it. I've heard. It's a daily God double. God damn it. There you go. Get this. Puck. How much do you want to wager? $500. Look at the following image. Are you serious? Oh. Oh, the author. The author. I think I know the author. Pick. You got to pick? I don't have no idea. I'm pretty sure it's I'm Bradbury. Sorry. Damn no. it. Is it Bradbury? Ray ba Bradbury. Yeah, I knew the I knew it was Fahrenheit. Four five one. Four five one. Yeah, yeah, I would have gotten that one. I still want to see that. Yeah. Observe the I still haven't read that book either. Only the person holding the object seen here is allowed to speak in this 1954 book. That should be Lord of the Flies. I think so. Never read that yes, book. Me neither. Correct. Somehow I skipped yeah. that part of. John is also going to win because he's a faster buzzer. Look at the following image. The actions of Jacques Saunier, curator of the museum seen here, set off the events of this 2003 thriller. Come on, come on. I hate these videos. Mm -hmm. This is awful. Taking time. Oh my God. Damn it. Ha! Da Vinci Code. Yep. The Louvre. I'm just like, I know that museum. I've been there. <laughs> I know this one. Select a category. Musicals. Why Observe not? The, following image. the type of transport scene here makes a noteworthy appearance in this musical revived on Broadway in 2017. I know this one. Do you know this one? Should be Miss Saigon. Yes. I was gonna say you you talked about that the helicopter yeah. so much. That, like, it's just it's, it's so cool. It's like, ingrained in my head. How many musicals have a helicopter on it's stage? It's your turn to choose a category. Look just seeing here comes image. crashing down at the end of Act One of this musical. I hate that I've told you so much about musicals right now. So much, and we've seen this musical too multiple <laughs> times. Where me paying attention and listening to you as a good husband is gonna help me win this game. Insert the following image in the Music Man. The big parade was led by this many of the instruments seen here. That's all yours. 76 trombones led the well big done. parade. Oh. And 110 cornets right behind. Player two. They were followed Which by rows and like? rows of red image. in this poll scene here takes on a new meaning in this Stephen Sondheim musical. Damn it. Damn it. Who? Followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos, right. the freed of every famous brand. Player one, please select a category. Uh, do world's Watch world, this. do it. Sure. The Eiffel Tower is visible in the distance while this cathedral is in the foreground. Wow. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Careful. Breathe. I know. I know. Breathe. Ah! Ha! God! Notre Dame. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> oh, and I saw it's the jitter. I, I saw the jitter in the yeah. video, and I'm like, oh, I got it. It's your turn to choose a category. Take a look. The landmarks at this seen clip. here are on the west bank of this river. Just, just, oh God, just make it a picture, guys. Damn it. There it is. Oh. Nile. That's correct. <laughs> you see, not like that jitter. That jitter. That jitter. Ah. That GIF restart. Pick a category. Let's watch this short video. In the 15th century, the bar barrier scene here was greatly strengthened by this dynasty, better known for much smaller projects. Oh, I got it. Which oh. dynasty? Wasn't it the Han Dynasty? I don't know. I think it was the Han Dynasty. That's not Son of a bitch! I, I'm gonna say that it's the Ming Dynasty the Ming because Dynasty. they're known for small objects. That's right. Uh, like the, this Ming vase. Oh, uh, did you get the lead out of that? Player nope, two. I still have it. Uh, yeah, what a world like? tour. Watch this. The waterfall seen here is on the border of Zambia and this nation. Oh, God. Horseshoe Falls, I think is what it's called. Sure. I'm go, not, Charles. I've never seen that before. Go, Charles, go. Zimbabwe? You are right. Zambia and Zimbabwe. 
I had no idea. Player three, I, d I don't pick know. a category. Of course, two of the seven. The schoolboy and the soldier, according to Shakespeare. What? I'm sorry. Um, ages of men. That's got yeah. That's the only thing that would yes. make sense. Yeah. I'll let you have like, that I one. I have I'm, to try. I I don't know what Player that is. I have to try. Please select oh, a category. God. Sloth and wrath. Damn it! Is no, it's the seven saves? muses. You are correct. <laughs> oh, that that's why I screwed up so much. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Pick All a right. category. Temple of Artemis and the Statue of Zeus. Ha! Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Yes. Ancient World. Not well the done. modern. Not the modern. Not well the done. modern. They're different. Last clue. The Kirinol and the Aventine. What? Go, Charles. <laughs> Do it, Charles. We're the Seven Hills of right. Rome. Oh. I forgot there were seven hills around At Rome. At the end of the Jeopardy round. There are seven hills around place. Rome? Yes. At least old Rome. They're probably part of Rome now. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> double Jeopardy. What? Oh my god. Let's take a look at the double jeopardy rounds categories. Let's do Holidays this. And observances. Okay. Literary monsters. Oh no. Uh huh? Mountains. Uh huh. Uh. Female athletes. Okay. Oh. Okay, I can do that. You can quote me on that. Uh? Mm? TV Maybe? characters. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay, guys, John's gonna win this game now. Okay, all right. Just I think so I you can know. Do this. I can do this. Oh, just go with a $2,000 question, Charles. Why not? At her inquest, this woman was inspired, a, who inspired a rhyme said, I knew there was an old ax down cellar. That's all that I knew. That would be Lizzie Borden. Lizzie well Borden. Done. Yeah, I knew Killed Lizzie Borden. Yeah. I didn't know that was a. Well, I knew she had a rhyme. Uh, oh, yeah, I had I no idea. I knew she had a rhyme. That's all that I knew. Ah, uh, literary monsters. Assembled from dead bodies, the monster in this Mary Shelley book turns against his creator. Damn it! Frankenstein. Okay. Mm-hmm. Precisely. And I can do this. I can do this, John. You got it. You got a lead. Rose has a lead. You can knock. Player you can knock one. it out a oh, little yeah. bit. Oh yeah. Oh, you're absolutely gonna this. win. Title monster in this skin crawling R.L. Stein series include a mummy, a scarecrow, and a snowman. Damn it! Goosebumps. I can do this. I can do this. Correct. Because <laughs> we both know a uh, lot of these answers. Uh, let's keep on going. Let's just keep on going. Barbara Jean Hicks story. Monsters are tucked into eating these, tricked into eating these veggies when they, when told they're giant trees. That has to, to be, be broccoli. broccoli. Yeah. It has to be broccoli. Precisely. I didn't register what the question was asking or I would have jumped in. Oh my, I understand. I, wait, what? <laughs> No! Let's do this. To a category. The offspring of a woman and a bull is one of the monsters in the Percy Jackson books. There's so many monsters in Percy Jackson books, though. I hate you. Oh, shit. Which one? Oh, shit. Which one? Pick it. Go, go, go. I hate you. Okay. I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> ah! Okay. All right. All right. One. Yep. 2000. Let's do this. Like? Get my lead. In a Jules Verne work, the Nautilus has to deal with a big one of these, referred to as a devil fish. Oh, damn it. Come on. Come on. Pick one. Well, that would be Moby Dick. Not that is it. not Jules Verne. We're looking for 2,000 leagues under the 20,000 leagues under the sea, which goes up against a squid. Precisely. Oh. <laughs> You don't have to give me all hoity-toity about it, by the way. Player sure I do. <laughs> Look, that's like the one thing that I know. You know what? Let me just hand this game to you now. In 2015, this tennis great missed making a calendar Grand Slam when she was defeated by an unseated player in the U.S. Open semifinals. Should be Serena Williams. Watch it be Mark. I knew that Marish it was going to be. Sure. Player one. Screw it. Let's just Which keep on. I got to get this lead back. This Maryland swimmer won four golds and a silver at the 2016 Olympics. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm not even going to lie. Go, Charles. Charles, is all you. Charles is going to win I, this I've, game I've because no of this category. I have no idea who. Katie Precisely. Ledevsky? Ledeck? Sure. Uh, Charles, good on you, man. I literally <laughs> had no idea on that category. one. You can quote me on that. 
In her November 2016 concession speech, she said, This is not the outcome we wanted. Damn it. Should be Hillary Clinton. Should be. I'll watch it be. You are Warren. Warren, yeah. I was like, <laughs> right when I Clinton, I was like, oh, hell, it yeah. might be Elizabeth Warren. Shit. It's kind of like when I missed Which the typewriter because like? I saw a computer first. In 1901, he advised, speak softly and carry a big stick. You will go far. Oh, God. Who was that? Should have been Roosevelt, I believe. I think so. I think it was Roosevelt. Yes, correct. Ooh, That's the on. thing. It was one of those. I was pretty sure that I could get it from a multiple guess. But that's about it. This author concluded a 1936 novel with the line, After all, tomorrow is another day. Oh. I have no idea. Margaret Mitchell? You are correct. Well done. I can't think of the, uh, of the book now. Player two, pick a category. The was, sure. The British physicist has been quoted as saying, my goal is simple. It's a complete understanding of the universe. Totally simple. That sounds like Stephen Hawking. Damn it. It well really done. does. Tomorrow is another day after all. Really sounds like something from Anne of Green Gables. Maybe. Um, Let me just hand this back to you for a little bit. Sheila Johnson is the first African-American woman to own or partner in three pro teams, Washington Capitals, Mystics, and this NBA team. Go, John, go. Charles! Charles, no it idea. is all you. I mean, that's the only that's thing that would make sense because Washington Wizards. I, I was like, go. wait, hold on. Player three. Oh, wait. It's your turn to choose a category. Tomorrow Daily is another double. day after all. God, I haven't read that book in forever. How much would you like I'm still impressed wager? that I made it through that book. It's freaking long. Her characters include Ugly Betty and Amy, a manager at Cloud9 Superstore. Oh, I... Actually... Oh. I actually know this America one. America yep. Ferreira. You That's right. right. Hmm. What are we doing? TV characters. Hugh Laurie went from playing Bertie Wooster to playing a cranky doctor with this last name. God damn it! Ha! Who is House? House well MD. Uh, I don't remember his first name now in the show. Player two. Which category would you like? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Tom Selleck plays New York Police Commissioner Frank Reagan in the, on this series. Yeah. I'm just Blue like, books. I don't know, and I'm pretty That's sure correct. that John knows. Yeah. Gregory. Yes. Gregory House. Gregory House. It's your turn to choose a category. Wayne Rogers played this doctor in the 4077th MASH unit. Pernell Roberts played him post-Korea. I think it wasn't a Hawkeye? Uh, sure. I think it was Hawkeye. I don't remember who no. the doctor was. Shit! Incorrect. Oh, then I know what it is. Was that Trapper? Mm-hmm. That's it. God, I, I did not watch very much, much MASH growing Player up. Two. Oh, let's just finish off TV characters. Rapper Ice-T first played the detective known as Finn on this Law & Order spinoff. Ice-T was in Law & Order? Uh, I think it was Criminal Intent. No, it's Son not. Son of a bitch! Oh. Okay, my guess is honestly SVU. You are right. I'm just like, Law & Order SVU because that's the one that I always hear about. Okay, you I ready hate, to take this back, this John? I hate this You ready so to take much. this back? In 2016, at age 18, this golfer who calls herself a Korean Kiwi became the youngest woman to win two majors. Take it away, Charles. Oh, John knows. Maybe? Maybe. Do it. I'm watching. I know if it's this, this is wrong. I was like, I know what it is. I was like, Michelle Wee is a little Player older, one. if I remember correctly. Which category would I was, you like? I didn't even know that was a person. She was the first woman to compete in both the Indianapolis 500 and the Daytona 500. Good job. That would be Danica Patrick. That's the only one that it's... Oh, come the freak on! Wait, really? Go for it, Charles. Take it away. That sucks. I'm sorry. Indeed. Danica Patrick, player three, either wasn't the category. first. Observe the following image. I don't know. 
The activity seen here is celebrated the last Friday in April on this U.S. holiday. It's not Arbor Day. I'm going to be pissed and throwing a controller. Oh, my. Right. I'm just like, look, it has to be Arbor Day. Oh. Has to be. God. One. I know. Please I'm sorry. A category. Look at the Family scene here is celebrating this holiday whose name is derived from a word meaning first. It means first? I didn't know that. Kwanzaa? I had no idea. Yeah, has I had no to idea. Be Kwanzaa. Precisely. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> I really have, am trying here, guys. I'm have, not just letting John go have, get these. Oh, double. fudge off. Come on, I'll help you. you. I'll help you. I want this game to be fair. Observe the following image. Do you know this? May 1st holiday in the U.S. Wouldn't that be Hawaii? They're Lays. That, that has to be Hawaii. Right? Am I dumb? Correct. Oh God, it has thank to you. be Hawaii. Also, if that's not Hawaii, I, I am literally throwing something out of a window. I saw a lot of colors and my first thought was Mardi Gras, the then I realized image. they were flowers. The sporting event seen here is held on this Massachusetts holiday. That has to be the Boston Marathon. But when is it? Ooh. Patriots it, yeah, Day? Yeah, it's Patriots Day. Precisely. <laughs> yeah. Ha ha. Player two. Pick a category. Sure. Observe the following image. Musical instrument. That's a musical instrument. Seen here is blown to end the services on this Jewish Day of Atonement. Have we watched enough Miss Maisel for you to know which day it is? Yom Kippur. That's the only thing I can think of. Based yes. on Miss Maisel. Right. Based on Miss Maisel. I'm like, please. <laughs> Thank you. Please. Curry TV. God. For giving us a guess. 1963, Jim Whitaker became the first American to reach the summit of this 29,035 foot mountain. Take it, Charles. Go, Charles. It's all you, baby. It's all you. Just go nuts. Go for it, Charles. Mount Everest. Mount That's Everest? the only thing I could think exactly. of. Exactly. Like, is it that one or K2? That's all I've got yeah. in life. Yeah. Player three, it's your turn to mountains. choose a category. The world's highest cog railway takes you to the summit of this 4.3 kilometer Colorado mountain. Pike's Peak? My parents have gone up that. That's it. Yeah, I did too. That's the only. I, I, oh, I haven't been up yeah, yet. I've, I've been up. I've been at Pike's Peak. That's the I only. Well, like, I've seen which Pike's Peak. Would you like? Thirty-one of Europe's forty highest mountains lie within the within this nation or on its border. That's gonna have to be Switzerland. Yeah, because it's like of the, the Alps. Swiss Alps, right? Yes. The highest mountain is in France. Oh. It's Mont Blanc. White Mountain. Player two. It's literally the it's name of it. It's your turn to choose a category. This volcano, about 60 miles west of Tokyo, last erupted in 1707, but is still listed as active. Charles. I have, have a guess. I was going to say, I'm yes. pretty sure it's Mount Correct. Fuji. I didn't know it was an active volcano. I knew it was a volcano. I wasn't Here's sure if it was active. Clue. Oh, shit. You can reach the top of this biblical mountain by taking the path of Moses, a stairway of nearly 4,000 steps. Damn it, Charles. Do you know it? I don't. I'm not telling you. I'm going to go with that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> uh, that's the, weirdly enough, that's the only word that seems biblical. Everyone uh, and Ararat like, is also in the Bible. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't go with Ararat. Yeah. Are we going to wager it all You're again? You're damn right we're going to wager it all again. <laughs> We're either right or wrong. It wager. all comes down to the hell to the F and Yow. Let's your do wager. this. This drama is set at a summer home in August 1912. Act one takes place at 8.30 a.m. Oh, God. I don't know. Charles, what did you say? Cat on no, a hot tin not. roof. Damn it, Charles. John, did you get it right? Long day's journey Correct. into night. Woo! John won, guys. John won. I am bad with plays. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Good job. John has won a Here match. Oh god, I don't feel so dumb. But sometimes <laughs> it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> Did you know that or did you guess? I guess. I like from yeah. weirdly enough it was context Today clues. I was like uh -huh. it, it was telling me specific a, like Yeah, a time. A of time day. and I'm like the only yeah. thing that would make sense is a journey. Yeah. In my mind. No, that makes sense. Oh god. 
Well done. Oh, God, thank you. Acting you never you playing this game again. Yes, we are. I'm coming down. I'm we're done. I'm retiring with one W. Guys, let us know in the comments you of this video. Let us know if you want us to play rank. Jeopardy some more. Oh, God. Because I'm going to need your help peer pressuring John into playing this again. You have oh, don't, no peer pressure. <laughs> John caves to peer pressure. Oh, I don't cave to peer pressure too much. Okay. <laughs> Only when it's good for the haha. -ha exactly. Oh, you Whew. got... Everything you buzzed in for, you got right. Yeah. I knew my shit for this one. <laughs> I knew my shit. Yeah. Coming I, at you. This one, I tell you, I... I, I was not as reckless with this game. Yeah. But it still screwed me over in the end. There we go. So there you go, guys. So let us know in the comments if you want us if you want to see us play Jeopardy some more. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll be playing something. Bye. Bye.